Christo Dravachev was born June 13, 1935, in Gabrovo, Bulgaria. Christo's dad owned a fabric company and his mom was a secretary. Christo went to school after Germany lost the war and he attended schools run by the country's new government. He went to the National Academy of Arts. Eventually, in 1958, Christo found his way into Paris, where he met Jean, his wife's mom, who hired him to paint portraits of her and her family. At that time, Christo and Jean fell in love. When Christo was promised a solo exhibit in Germany, he began to wrap everything, including oil barrels, wooden crates, a chair, and a dress. By then, Christo and Jean were working as partners. Valley Curtain. Christo and Jean chose Raphael Gap, a cliff in a mountain outside a small town in Colorado. In October 1971, after months of delay, the curtain was set to go up. But sadly, the curtain was destroyed by wind, so they could not do the project. But almost one year later, Christo and Jean went back to the town in Colorado and made the Valley Curtain in August 7, 1972. Surrounded Islands. In 1980, Christo and John traveled to Miami, Florida, looking for a small possible site for a project. They found nothing until they stood on a bridge looking at small man-made islands in Biscayne Bay. John was the one who suggested to surround the islands with pink fabric. They chose 11 islands and then started to work. The people that worked with animals were worried about the bird nest and the, and the manatees that lived in the warm water around the islands. The surrounded islands were only up for two weeks. The gates. In the winter of 2005, Central Park became one of the most beautiful winter wonderlands you will ever see because the beautiful orange goes perfectly with the white snow. To be able to do the gates, it took 27 years to get the yes. In 2003, Christo had to sign a 43-page contract with the city allowing the gates to go forward. On February 12, 2005, Christo and John were transformed Central Park into a huge work of art. Sadly, John died in November in November 2009 because of a brain aneurysm. She was only 74. In June, Christo will turn 82. Together, Christo and John were one of the best artists I know of, and their work is so beautiful, and I wish I could have seen one of his works. 